Hey guys, this is Caleb Simpson here from ZeldaDungeon.net. You're watching the video boss guide for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the second dungeon of the game. This is the boss of the dungeon um, of Dodongo's Cavern. This is King Dodongo. So lay a bomb on the funny looking patch on the floor and then this will blow into a hole uh, that you can fall down and then just open up the chest to get more bombs. So uh, fall down into the area and you will see the cutscene which introduces the boss. So this is giant dinosaur King Dodongo. So, um, he has two attacks, first of which is to breathe fire at you. So this guy's got some, like a heartburn or something. So, uh, it hurts you about half a heart, and then his other attack is to roll, which he does after every of his regular attacks, and also if he can't hit you. So, uh, both of the attacks are easily avoided, though. You can just either stand on the side next to the lava, or you can stand in one of these corners. There's this whole area where you can just stand there, and he just cannot hurt you at all. So don't feel too intimidated by him. Now, to stun him, what you have to do is throw either a bomb or a bomb flower into his mouth while he's sucking in to breathe fire, and then you have one chance to attack him, so make a count. So that being said, here's the best way to defeat King Dodongo. As soon as you start, he'll come towards you a little bit, and then he'll start breathing fire. So either toss a bomb flower or bomb into his mouth, and then smack him. Here I do a jump attack, did two damage. He has six total health, I believe. So run around the side. You saw I went close to the lava so that I surpassed his attack entirely. Uh, pick up a bomb flower if you like. Uh, I like to do it so it saves my bombs. Throw it into his mouth. Bam! So now I did a jump attack with a Deku stick that does three total damage. Uh, then start running around the other side again. Because uh, So now he has five health gone, he has one health left, so he's just coming around again, throw a bomb into his mouth, and then here he only has one health left, so just one regular sword slash will do him in. Bam. So that is how you defeat King Dodongo. Easy as heck, man. So remember, if he starts doing an attack and you didn't really expect it, just go a little bit close to the lava and don't actually walk on the lava, and uh, he can't hurt you at all. Really easy. So uh, once he's dead, then be sure to snag the heart container that he leaves behind. This will increase your health by one whole heart. And then after that, just step into the blue light, and that's all there is to it. So congratulations, you just defeated the second boss of the game, uh, King Dodongo. And uh, let's go talk to Darunia and get the Spiritual Stone of Fire.